Hey, it's the Midnight Roman, and today we're doing another chrono photo video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm the Midnight Raven. A few of my subscribers have asked me to do another chrono photo one, and as you guys asked me so nicely, I've decided to do another one. You're gonna have to excuse my appearance. I have done a live stream today for three hours, and I also have work tomorrow, and I am filming this very late in the evening. At around 20 past 10, I had my tea, and now I am filming, so excuse the way I look. If you don't know what chrono photo is, and you're new, chrono photo is a app called chronophoto.app, and the idea is you guess the year of the photo from one pick and one pick only. So let me show you how this goes, and then I'll explain more, especially if you're new. So this is like GeoWizard. So GeoGuessr or GeoWizard does it so they guess a location of a place based on a picture. This is guess the year based on a picture. Uh, is this harder? I don't know. <laughs> I've done fairly well. I must admit I've done fairly well. But we're going to see. So here is the first picture. And as you can see... If we scroll down slightly, the years range from 1900 to 2020. And the idea is to use this picture to guess the year. Just this one picture, that's all you have. So you can look at the scenery. You can look at the fact that they've all got horse and carts and there doesn't seem to be any cars. So we are going to go down this way with the guesser to like 1920. But they've got horses. They don't really look, I mean, horse and carts, they don't really look like they've got cars. Then you've got this one girl here in like a lime green colour, but that could also be like a fake exposure and um, stuff like that. The picture looks beautiful. This is a stunning picture for whenever it was taken. Um, but judging by the style of clothes, the cars... Um, even these guys' hats they're wearing, I think we're looking down this way about 1905, maybe 1905, maybe 1910. Um, I wouldn't say any later based on the fact that it's mostly horses and carts on this road. Though there is a sprinkling of like you've got a tram down here, but if you go back to the 1800s. They had um, steam-powered most things, including trains. Um, so I would say that this is probably 1910. I wouldn't say it's much earlier. Um, let me see if I can get down the page a little bit. Oh, hang on a sec. I'm trying to get down the page. 1910? Yes! Hang on, 1910. Whew. I finally got a perfect. Can you believe that? Finally got a perfect. Um, in perfecto. Um, I got a perfect. Oh my god. Okay, next one. We we can't revel for too long because we need to make sure that we get this right. Bang on. Did you see that? 1910. We are. <laughs> we are King Arthur and Luther the King. Um, so I am going to assume this is, I don't know, um, King was protesting. We'll call it protesting. Um, was he protesting in the 60s and 70s? Was it the 80s? I think Martin Luther was like the 80s. Um, I honestly don't know. Uh, this one's gonna throw me for a loop. I don't know much about politicalness and stuff like that. It's not really my forte. Um, I would say I don't even know when Martin Luther the King died. I I'd like to say it was probably seventies. I don't know anything about Martin Luther the King apart from the fact he was an activist for Black rights and and Black Lives Matter kind of thing um 75 maybe this is one i'm gonna get wrong um because i don't know much about black history mainly 
Uh, so I'm going to go with 75. It was 63. I said it was 60s or 70s. I wasn't sure. I was going between the two. And honestly, that was one I said I, I weren't going to get anyway. I don't know much about Martin Luther King. Although he was a brilliant activist, it's not something we learn in the UK. Um, if I'm honest, it's not something we learn. Okay, going back to another old photo. Okay, so we've got horses and carts. We've got these type of cars. We've got the trams. We are, in my eyes, going back down this way again. The question is, how far down do we go? So we're looking at horses and carts. We're looking at these like gangster cars. So these are like 1920s, 1930s in my eyes. I could be wrong. The horses and carts were still prominent. These hats, they look like gangsters. They look like speakeasy gangsters over here. Uh, I'm going to go with 1920. I think it's 1920. Oh, 1920. Let's not cheat. 1920, 1913, ooh, so it was before Prohibition, because Prohibition was 1920, was it not? Um, I kind of thought it looked a bit dodgy <laughs> at the best of times. Okay, picture four. So we're not too far out. We're, we're within the range, which is better than nothing. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Okay, so next we have... A woman punching a guy. I mean, living the dream there. Um, I kind of look old schooly. The question is, um, a black and white picture can be deceptive <laughs> on age. This could be 2000s and it could have just been darkened. I'm going to assume it's true to form. And I'm going to assume this is like down here. Or could it be earlier? Ooh. This is a hard one. I'm not going to have to think. So judging by their footwear, these are quite old-ish. Even his boxing gloves look like old styly. Ooh, I want to go like 1930s. I don't want to go too early and I don't want to go too late. I think it's around 30s or 40s. Um, so let's go 35. I think it's right in the middle. Um, let's go right in the middle, shall we? Oh, 1922. Oh my God, it was earlier than I thought. Ooh. We don't do well when it comes to like 1920s, 30s. I can tell you anything in the 40s, 50s or 60s. I'm like, I'm like bang on that one. Um, but this one, not so much. Okay, last picture. I can't believe the first one we got bang on and now we've just sucked the rest of the time. Okay, so this is obviously a fairly new one. Um, I don't know that woman there, should I? Should I know her? This is obviously something to do with US women. Um, I don't know who she is. Uh, again, this is like the US political. I don't think that's Hillary Clinton, is it? Is that Hillary Clinton? I don't know. Someone tell me who the woman is here. What's her importance? But it's got to be right up here. This has got to be like 2000, 210. It's going to be right up. I mean, look at these suits. They're quite cool. The hairstyles are quite old, but I think parts of America still have like that dated look. I think there's just parts of America where the fashion just hasn't caught up with the rest of the world. Or they have a very conservative look about them. Like the suits here, they're very conservative. Even this dress is probably past your knee. Although they are fairly old ladies. Um, you can see a lot of them like the suits. And then you get this sprinkling of people of like, well, we're just going to wear colour. Um, <laughs> we want colourful suits. We're not boring people. Um, oh, I'm going to go 210, I think. Mm, yeah, let's go 210. 212. Look at that. Two off. So close, yet so far. Okay, so let's take a look at my results. The first one, we were bang on with 19. I hit that nail right on the head. The second photo, 
I was a little out. I said 75. It was 63. I said 60s or 70s. This one, I honestly thought it was 1930s based on the cars. I didn't know they had those kind of cars as early as 1913. It is amazing how far we have come then. This one, again, 1922. I said 1935. I said it was 20s or 30s. I'm in the right area. I just can't get it exact. And then this one, again, I said it was 210 and it was 212. Um, so it's 2,800 my score, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's not brilliant. I would have loved to have got more perfects, if I'm honest. But um, you win some, you lose some. So give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. How close were you guys to getting that amount? Can you beat me? That is the question. And have you got a perfect like I did today? My first perfect, like, bang on, 1910. Ugh. A pity I can't do better than that. But if you want to like, subscribe, let me know down below how well you did. If you want to support the channel, a PayPal, Super Chat, or Super Thanks, or go over to Instagram and support my son's charity. Uh, the link is on the front of my Instagram, and link to Instagram is in the description. And I will see you very soon for another chrono photo. You never know, I might get a better score next time. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.